This is an Aphenogaster lamellidens colony in an inception chamber. Um, this is a two-year-old colony and they've been in this nest for six months. They are packed into two rooms right now uh, primarily because of the humidity that's in there because of the uh, amount of workers that are in a small space. So they're about ready to move out. Um, it's uh, getting time to find them a new nest. They used to be spread out evenly between the three chambers and uh, it's a bad sign that they're in two now. Uh, and that means that the humidity is, is too high in part of the nest and they're kind of trying to get away from uh, the high humidity there. And you can see that there's a little bit of condensation built up after I watered the nest. So um, anyway, I, I just wanted to show you that um, because you know a lot of times people will ask, well, when is it time to move uh, a colony out of a smaller nest and into a larger nest? This may be a, a good example of waiting a little too long. Um, just just depends on the species a lot and the ant keeper. Um, but the bottom line is you do need to plan ahead. Uh, say I wanted to order a new nest for this colony. It may take you know a week, two weeks, three weeks to get what I wanted. And, and in the meantime, this colony may have a little trouble adjusting uh, to the conditions. So uh, one of the options you, you could consider would be cooling them down, putting them in a mini refrigerator or a refrigerating unit dropping the temperature, maybe putting them in outside in a garage if you're in an area where the garage is cooler than your house or outside or basement. Um, that way they would slow down their functioning, they would slow down the brood growth and the colony would kind of go into a mini diapause state um, until you're ready to, to move them into something that they can continue to grow normally. So um, anyway, that's really not the whole point of this video. I don't want to go into much more about that. Um, I do want to show you feeding them some crickets. Uh, this this species here is really fun because not only are they larger than a lot of the Aphenogaster species that we have well, anywhere um, that I I'm, I know of, especially here, a lot of them are much smaller. But this colony, these these get really big. Um, so you know, I'm hoping to continue to grow them into a colony of. Sometimes I see them as big as maybe two to three thousand workers inside of a rotten log. Um, so, and you can see how quickly they go after food. Uh, most of the Afeni other Phenogaster species are very shy. Um, they'll run, kind of run back to the nest and uh, wait until everything's quiet. If they uh, have any kind of uh, alarm, go off in, in, in the nest. But these, uh, these workers, you can see they're just roaming. If I were to put my hand in there, they would crawl on it and try to bite. and. Uh, they don't sting. Um, Phenogaster don't sting, but they will. Uh, they will try um, to do their best to defend their nest. So um, this is a fun colony to keep. And this is a pretty small space. This this inception chamber is only six inches across, about two and a half inches tall. Um, so and you know they'll take these crickets back into the nest. And I don't really. I, I squish the heads on the crickets, and they're they're dead and um, you know I, I normally for a lot of species I will pull them apart um, but for them I don't really need to because they c they are plenty strong and capable of pulling these crickets apart and uh, and then dumping them back outside of the nest like if these were smaller ants I would be concerned about those cricket legs because uh, they may get stuck along a passageway or uh, on a corner and smaller ants may not be able to tear into the whole cricket and they might get stuck inside which thankfully the inception chamber does have a, a lid that comes off and you could help by taking it out but you don't want to disturb a colony like that uh, with the, with the gust of air if you don't have to so um, anyway that that may answer some questions about the um, the way I'm that the way that I'm feeding them here and the size of the crickets they are these are medium size at the pet store um, but again, the, this, this colony here is, is really good about tearing their food apart. Um, so anyway, I, that's about all I wanted to say. Um, you know, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what a, a larger colony looks like inside one of the inception chambers and introduce you to them. Introduce those of you who have never seen this species, a really pretty species, uh, Phenogastro lamellidens.